Um, my name is Rachel Boyson. I was a Stevenson student. I graduated in March of 2015 and I studied linguistics. In the linguistics department, I worked on a project that we referred to as the Sluicing Project. It was a research project that involved grad students, undergrad students, and faculty. Sluicing is an example of ellipsis, which is the elimination of redundant linguistic material um, often done to avoid repetition. So an example of a sluice would be, he was talking to somebody, but I don't remember who, and that would mean I was, he was talking to somebody, but I don't remember who he was talking to. Or she's writing a book, but I couldn't tell you why. She's writing a book, but I couldn't tell you why she's writing a book. My role in the project was an annotator role, so I was looking at the texts that we were annotating, which were all from uh, the New York Times in the 90s, and they each had an instance of a sluicing sentence isolated, and I would go through and tag the various parts of it. And this was done in order to create a large searchable corpus for future linguists to use in their own research and uh, technical development. The hope is that the corpus will be used to uh, aid future linguists uh, doing their own research from a theoretical standpoint on sluicing and ellipsis and also be a resource for computational linguists working in technology to help computers and machines better understand ellipsis. So studying sluicing and ellipsis as a whole is important for computational linguistics and technology because as we move forward there's more technology that involves you talking to it. So there's Siri and search engines and so there are a lot of things out there that have you interfacing with your technology and so it's important for that technology to be able to understand what you're saying. And this and ellipsis and sluicing is something that people do in all languages all the time so much that we don't even notice it sometimes and machines are the opposite. They are really bad at understanding it and so the hopes of people who are studying and doing work on ellipsis and sluicing is to hopefully better the technology so that people could interact with their machines more naturally.